Hello folks, this is David with RS Racks Direct and today we're going biking and to get our we need to get our bike out to the trailhead. We're using our El Mariachi Salsa, which is a very sweet ride, and we gotta get that out to the trailhead, so we need a really slick bike rack to go with it. Today we have here the all-new Rocky Mounts tie rod. This is a really slick product. Um, and I'm gonna run down some of the really cool features of this new roof mount, fork mount bike rack for you. Um, now, this is, what, what Rocky Mounts has done is they've really done a lot of re, put in a lot of research and design into improving uh, the, the, the old uh, Noose S, SL uh, factory rack model. So this is um, ideally aimed at um, attaching to factory rack bars. Um, today we have them on Yakima round bars because of course they will work on round bars and Thule square bars and Eno bars and whatnot. But, Primarily, uh, it's designed for factory racks, um, and what they have here is a really sleek fork block head on here. Um, very aerodynamic, low profile, and very user friendly. Very easy to install this, and, e and, and easy uh, to use to place the bike on there. It also has uh, full security features um, as well. So, first of all, I just want to show you how it comes uh, when it's going to come arrive at your door uh, when you purchase this. Uh, we have a black here. Of course, it comes in all the usual uh, rainbow of colors that, Yak, that uh, I'm sorry, that Rocky Mounts is known for. We have the blue one on the, on the car, but this is your classic black. So, what we have here, the, so the fork block head here um, ha uses these, uh, these really... Um, heavy-duty uh, rubber straps uh, which will work with with any factory rack so you're just going to loosen up this bolt here uh, so that these straps will just will pop out and now you can see and then just place that padding back in there there we go so you can just so you can see um, how that would just attach right over the you put the strap under underneath the factory bar um, and then and then you just have both of those straps on there and then you're just going to take the included uh, wrench here and all you do is just tighten that down until those straps are, are tightened against the crossbar and that's all you're going to do uh, for the for the front fork block head now the rear uh, is is even simpler. Uh, you just have two two bolts uh, with with wing with uh, with the wing nuts here, and you just slide those down the channel here, and then uh, and then it has a nice clamp underneath it, and then just tighten those two down, and it's fully adjustable to uh, whatever crossbar spread you're going to have, either on your, your 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 aftermarket rack system or your factory rack system. Finally, uh, you've got this fully adjustable um, rear strap as well that you can use and that and this uh this uh this cap here easily comes off so that you can uh, move that around as well now the really neat feature of this is the rocky mouths uh locking skewer um just very very slick uh pretty amazing the technology that's gone into this um and all you have to do is just adjust it one time for your particular uh bike fork and then you don't have to keep going back and adjusting it. You just take the bike on and off, and then you know you're just going to um, close it up, and that's all there is to it. You don't have to fidget fidget with it. Um, I will show you, um, you know, exactly how easy that that is to do. And you, you don't you don't have to tighten it down, you know, really a, a lot. You just want a little bit of tension, and you'll feel that. You'll feel the click when that closes up. And so now, just let me place. About the bike right up on there. Got the El Mariachi 29er here. Of course, it's got the disc brakes, and really neat feature of this is it's disc brake compatible. You don't have to buy any extra adapter or anything. It's got this nice cutout. You can see how nicely that fits right in there. And then I'm adjusting that. See. Now I'm going to br bring that off just a bit, and now you hear that, and that's all there is to it. Now I don't have to go back and keep adjusting that. It easily comes off, easily installs on there, and then that just places in there. The rear ratchet.
attach the strap. Couldn't be easier. Slide that in there, and that's in there. Um, now, for security, Rocky Mounts has gone with two options you have uh, for securing uh, this rack. What I recommend and what Rocky Mounts recommend is purchasing uh, a two-pack of Rocky Mounts locks because what you have here is a simultaneous locking system which you can place one lock core uh, in, the, in the skewer and that will lock the bike to the rack. And then secondly, you can see on, this, on the cover here, so you can see the hardware there and once that's tightened on there, this cover just pops right on there like that. And then you can take a lock core and place that in there and lock, so you will lock the rack to the crossbars as well. So there you have it. I think I covered uh, most of the bases with the tie rod. This is a really great alternative to some of the other higher priced uh, factory rack models out there. It's just a beautiful rack. It's very sleek. You can see the new, uh, the new design of the bike tray as well. It comes in all kinds of colors too. So again, Rocky Mountains tie rod. Uh, thanks for watching. This is David with ORS Racks Direct.